Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Elia Erdina binti Muhammad Fatsir, matrix number 2022-63258. In this video, I am going to do a chapter presentation for CMP281. The chapter that will be presented is chapter 3, which is Communication Ethics. Business Ethics. It is the application of what is good and right to the assortment of institutions, technologies, activities, and pursuits which we call business. Ethics refers most often to a domain of inquiry or discipline which matters of right and wrong, good and evil, virtue and vice are systematically examined. For example, in everyday life, ethics asks us to consider whether our actions are right or wrong. The next slide, morality. By contrast, is most often used to refer not to a discipline but to patterns of thought and action that are actually operative in everyday life. In this sense, morality is what the discipline of ethics is about. And so, business morality is what business ethics is about. Then, integrity in business. The Hudson Institute and Walker Information surveyed 3,000 workers across the U.S. about their experiences and attitudes. Less than half said they believe their senior leaders are people of high integrity. In a recent poll, 53% of about 1,800 communications professionals said top management is an organization's conscience. Their other responses, however, reveal that employers may be sending mixed messages. Moving on to the next slide, discussion of ethical or unethical conduct is encouraged. Agree 46%, undecided 28%, disagree 26%. However, unethical behavior that results in personal gain is reprimanded, agree 68%, undecided 23%, and disagree 9%. For unethical behavior that results in corporate gain is reprimanded, agree 51%, undecided 36%, disagree 13%. There are three levels of inquiry. The first one is the individual, the second one is the organization, and the third one is the economy. Also, there are three levels of decision making. The first one is a moral point of view, the second one is an economic point of view, and the third one is a legal point of view. These are the three kinds of moral principles. First, utilitarianism, second, rights, and the third one, justice. The nature of moral judgments, there are two of them. The first one is normative judgments, which is conclusions involving values. And the second one, non-normative judgments, conclusions that are value neutral. The characteristics of moral principles, they have serious consequences of human well-being. Their validity rests on the adequacy of the reasons used to support and justify them. They override self-interest and they are based on impartial considerations. The next slide is making moral judgments. The first one, moral awareness, moral imagination, moral identification and ordering, moral evaluation, tolerating moral disagreement and ambiguity, integrating managerial and moral competence, and a sense of moral obligation. And lastly, applying ethical standards to communication. The first one is oral communication. Second one is organizational policies. Third one, correspondence. Fourth, rituals, ceremonies, and celebration. Slogans, symbols, corporate credos. Evaluations, promotions, and rewards. Interaction with other organizations interaction with the government, the press, and the public. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.